Uh, my first question is on the quality of earnings and your evaluation of quality of earnings in the U.S. right now. And the second is what multiples should be put on asset gains, such as bottling, uh, sale of bottling assets or reversal of merger reserves? Thanks. Yeah, well, taking the second question, for example, at Coca-Cola, where the, the bottling transactions are incidental to a long-term strategy which, uh, in my view, has been enormously successful to date and which has more successes ahead of it. But in the process of, of rearranging and consolidating the bottling system and, and expanding to, to uh, relatively un, undeveloped markets, uh, there, there have been and there will be a lot of bottling transactions, and uh, some produce large gains, some produce small gains. Uh, I ignore those in my evaluation of, uh, of, of Coke. The two important elements in Coke are, are unit case sales and, and shares outstanding. And if the shares outstanding go down and the unit case sales advance at a good clip, you are going to make money over time in, in, in Coca-Cola. Uh, there have been transactions where people have purchased uh, rights to various uh, drinks. Uh, Coca-Cola's purchased some of those around the world. And when you see what is paid for a million or a hundred million unit cases of, of, uh, of business, and then you think to yourself that maybe Coke will add a a billion and a half cases a year, that's, that's a real gain in value. It's a dramatic gain in value, and, and uh, that is what counts in terms of the Coca-Cola company. What, if you think the Coca-Cola company is going to sell some multiples of its present volume 15 or 20 years from now, and you think there'll be a lot fewer shares outstanding, uh, you've gone about as far as you need to go, but I would pay no attention to, to asset gains. I would just take those out of, out of the picture. Now, as to quality of earnings, uh, Charlie and I feel that in, in several respects, uh, but in one important respect, that the quality of earnings has gone down, not because the policy has changed, but because it's just become more significant, and that's in the case of stock options. Uh, we have, there are certain companies that we've evaluated for possible purchase where in, in our calculation of earnings, the earnings are maybe 10% less per year, per share, than reported. And that isn't necessarily the end of the world, but it is a difference in valuation that, that is significant and is not reported uh, under standard accounting. So we think the quality of earnings as reported by a company with significant stock option grants every year, we think is dramatically poor uh, than one for one that, where that doesn't exist. And there are a lot of companies that fall in that, in that category. Uh, Coca-Cola's earnings are very easy to figure it out. Just figure out what they're, you know, what they're earning per case from operations, and you'll see over the years, the earnings per case go up, and the cases go up, and the shares go down. And uh, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. Charlie? You've said it wonderfully. <laughs> I just wish we had more like that. Yeah.